Hello Weekend Crafter! Welcome or welcome back to the Craft Time Studio. I'm Ange and for this weekend's tutorial, I wanted to talk about my favorite ways of attaching earring posts to my earring studs. It's going to be a short tutorial but I hope that you learn something from it. There are actually many kinds of earring posts. There are flat ones with a small base. There are also earring posts that have extended pegs as you can see here and I will show you later where those pegs go. There are also plastic ones for those who are allergic to metal earring posts. I also wanted to show you some of the ways that you can attach them to polymer clay earrings. One of my favorite ways of attaching my posts is using super glue. In the States, a popular brand is called Loctite. Another way that you can attach posts is by using liquid Sculpey. By the way, for anyone curious about resin, this video might not be for you. I don't work with resin so it's not going to be discussed here. Let's start with using earring posts with an extended peg. This is actually my go-to post because the peg gives the earrings something extra to hold on to. The way that I attach this is that before I bake my stud, I already press down the earring post so that the peg leaves a hole on the back of the earrings. You can bake it with or without the post, but I prefer to bake it with the post in. Some reminders though on using the extended peg. First, you can't roll out your slab too thinly. The peg itself is about 2 millimeters, so you have to roll out your clay a little bit thicker. If I used a thinner slab, such as in this case, pushing the peg will cause it to have an indent on the top of the earring. So I recommend a slab that is about 3 millimeters. Before I glue the post, I use my electric nail file first and roughen out the surface of the post. Then I also roughen out the surface of the back of my baked earrings. This helps to better adhere my post to the earrings. Then, I just put the glue around the post and make sure that the hole lines up with the peg. I have an example of an earring that's been sitting here and I want to show you how I do a stress test. I get the earring box and just place it on and off a couple of times. One of the biggest client complaints that earring makers get is that the posts come off. So this is a way to really test the strength of your glue. I also use my pliers to give it a bit of a tug. And as you can see, it is adhered quite well. Another common way of attaching earring posts is with the use of liquid Sculpey. One way of doing it is by putting a little bit of Sculpey on the flat side of the earring post. And then covering the entire backside again with liquid Sculpey. When this bakes, it will be more or less clear. And if the post is completely covered, it's pretty hard to pull out. I did a stress test again and I noticed that while I couldn't pull out the posts, I was able to twist it, which is for me something that indicates that the actual post is not stuck on the earring. But what is stopping it from detaching is the fact that I had covered the entire back with liquid Sculpey. So this might be an issue for some clients. Yet another way of attaching the post is by sandwiching it between clay. So what I do first is to place the post on the stud. And then I roll out a thinner piece of clay and place a hole on its center. Mm -hmm. 
Then, I cover the post with liquid Sculpey and use the thinner piece to cover the entire back. As you can see, the posts are then hidden, which looks really neat. But the trade-off is that you will end up with shorter posts. Comparing the covered posts with the exposed posts, I actually lost about 1 to 2 millimeters in length on the covered posts. This might be okay on some earlobes. But if your client's earlobes are on the thick side, this might be a concern for them as the earrings might end up too tight. And finally, for attaching the plastic posts, for those who are allergic to metal, of course, since this is plastic, I can't attach it to unbaked clay. So I have to bake my pieces first and then I simply sand off the top of the post with my electric nail file And also sand the back of the earrings. And then I attach it to the earrings with some super glue. By the way, if you put too much super glue on the posts, the backs of your earrings might end up with a white residue around the post. To remove this, simply put some acetone on a cotton bud and go around the area gently. So my conclusion is that all of these methods actually work, but some ways are just more convenient than others. I hope that you learned something from this tutorial. I will link you to some of my other short tutorials here on YouTube. If you want to know what I've been up to during the week, do visit my IG at crafttime.ph. Have a crafty weekend. Bye!